I hope I got all that. I am now live. All that talking. Now we're live. And know by now we're officially live. <laughs> so I'm going to start from the beginning. Good if idea. We are getting this right now. This is why we need to do it. This is welcome to Heal and Build with Vanguard Collegiate. Everybody, thank you for tuning in. If you're getting this, please share. Uh, now, the reason why <laughs> we created this is because people with mentally health issues. Um, of course, we want to talk about education, but we want to talk about health in a way to where how do we actually heal and build from what we've gone through, what we've been going through, what COVID has taken us through, and what we're still going through in the midst of COVID. So in the midst of COVID, it has not stopped cancer. It has not stopped heart disease. It has not stopped uh, diabetes. It has not stopped suicide, homicide. It has not stopped any of those things. And so... Um, and so what I wanted to do is create an opportunity uh, here to see how we can connect members of the community and see what they're doing. Because we have Brittany Crone here today uh, with Dip In, um, and she has working with um, a very significant project here in the community. Before we get to that again, I just want to start off again. This is Vanguard Collegiate. We enroll grades five through eight. And so we are currently enrolling. We start on August 16th. We're in our fourth year, and we've already seen some graduating scholars um, that are in high school uh, that are really giving a testament of how we help them grow and prepare for high school. But we also have to help prepare this next generation for what's going on. And we're, like I said, being in a pandemic on top of all these other issues. Do we have it in us? Do we have the bandwidth? Do we have, I know I'm, I get burned out. A lot of community leaders get burned out because the work is so vast and just kind of keeps on growing. Um, we need to work towards the change. And so again, I came up with this concept called Heal and Build. And I wanted to really kind of recognize, again, like I said, people that are in the community doing the work um, and doing some great work. And so um, again, we have today, and I appreciate this person just for stepping in because I keep seeing her around. I keep seeing dip in. And we just had an event last Saturday uh, called the Black and Brown Get Down over here in the community over in Belmont Beach. And she was very uh, active and leading and spearheading heading that. And that's something that's going to grow and grow right here on the north northwest side. Um, so but I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, dip in and what it's doing. It's in collaboration with Eli Lillian Company, the Fairbanks School of Public Health. Uh, which has launched a new neighborhood-based pilot in three Indianapolis neighborhoods to address the high incidence of diabetes. So this is a seven million uh, five-year program with a focus on three Indianapolis neighborhoods uh, with significant health disparities and high rates of diabetes. So again, we're here on the northwest side. Um, like I told you, this is a long-term project um, to reduce diabetes-related complications and to ultimately reduce the rate of diabetes in these neighborhoods. And I feel like that would that would also make a difference uh, because it's not gonna be just one thing. So with that being said, Brittany, welcome. I'm gonna quit jibber jabbering and going on, but this I uh, just wanted to bring you in and have a conversation with you today. And like I said, if you guys get this, go ahead and share it to your networks. How you feeling today, Brittany? I'm feeling phenomenal, Mr. Eric Sanders. Thank you so much for having um, dip in as part of this program. It's really exciting that we can have a platform like this and that the community knows they can rely on Vanguard Collegiate um, to to get information out there and, and just to, to know that you, uh, Mr. Saunders, want to expand that impact and really be a part of the community, I think, is the first step toward us coming together and and as your show is called heal and building so healing and building is definitely what we're all about thanks for having me on today it's not a problem at all not a problem at all and so uh just to guys like i said if, when you see this um like i said the reason like i said i started this man because um what are you going to do when the gatekeepers get tight you know what are you going what are we going to do when the service leaders are getting hit too. And what, so what do you mean by that, Mr. Saunders? Like, I, I'm very open about my story. Um, I lost a parent last year to gun violence. We lost a parent here to uh, heart, uh, heart related issues, um, lost a student, um, 
We had a teacher lose another a student to violence. Um, and all in the meanwhile, we have to bring our whole self or what's left of us to Vanguard or whatever schools that we're dealing with. So again, what are we going to do when the um, leaders <laughs> um, when the leaders are actually burned out entirely? So, Brittany, tell me a little bit about Dipping in. Tell us about Dipping from your perspective and how do you get in, get involved in it? And you know what what really kind of started the spirit? On this? Can, what can you tell us? Yes, thank you so much. Um, so I'm I'm Brittany Crone, as Mr. Saunders mentioned. I'm the neighborhood community health worker right here in the near west neighborhoods as part of the dip in or diabetes impact project in Indianapolis neighborhoods. I am, um, as a community health worker, my role essentially is to just be a link to resources wherever I can be um, to help improve whatever situation people are going through. And and I my entire goal is to empower all of our families and individuals who live in our neighborhoods to better health, no matter where they're starting from, uh, uh, my my role and my goal is just to do whatever I can to empower them to seek information, um, find out information, connect with resources that can help them better their health. Because um, as you said, Eric, these these times are crazy. Um, and even right before we went live, you had mentioned we we were experiencing pandemics before the COVID pandemic. Um, mm -hmm. We have mental health issues yeah. that are just now slowly being talked about. We have diabetes yeah. is plaguing our community. Um, you know, we have food deserts, we have financial inequity, we have racial inequity, we have um, people going through strokes and dealing with gun violence. Wow. And it's so easy to feel disconnected. Um, and so I'm really proud to get the opportunity and honored and blessed by God for the opportunity to function as a connector. Um, and to be able to work with people like you and organizations like Vanguard and some of our other schools in the area to help boost our people and really lift us up. Um, I got into this position a huge blessing. Again, um, I am a person of faith, so I always give it to God because I myself uh, went through a very dark period of my life. I went through a very um, real mental health crisis of my own in 2018 that led me uh, to where I am today in a place of recovery from that. And without me going through that, I would not have gotten a chance to see for myself just how difficult it can feel and just how difficult it can be to get any kind of support, especially if you don't have insurance. I was uninsured. I was working in a job that I felt like just wasn't serving um, my spirit, and and I felt so isolated. I was depressed. I had anxiety, and it was um, a really dark time. And then I chose. Um, I had through my support system that I did have. I was able to find some different things and and just follow a certain path that allowed me to come here, where I feel <laughs> um, as a community, as a neighborhood community health worker, I. And just like overflowing with with love and gratitude to be able to serve our community in this way. Um, so I'm based here at the Christmore House. I take uh, in person like consultations, in person meetings. I talk to people on the phone. We do Zoom calls as well. And what I do is just listen to what's going on in somebody's life and see, okay, how can I help that person? Where do they need the most support? And so a lot of what I do is asking questions like, when is the last time you went to the doctor? When is, um, you know, how, how are you feeling at home? Like, do you have food to eat? Do you know where to go get groceries? We talk about healthy foods because a lot of diabetes uh, it has genetic components, but it's also about the, our patterns of our lifestyle. So what foods are we eating? What drinks are we drinking? Um, and, and how are we processing stress? So mental health is a huge component of what we do here with Dip In in the Near West. Um, and it's one of our main goals as well to help all of our community members reduce, identify, reduce stress in their lives and learn how to cope with it. 
Absolutely. And um, then that, again, that's important um, because um, there are, like I said, kids that are bringing this to school with them. It's generational. And we just keep repeating, keep repeating. And I think what people have to understand, guys, like as much as we have going on, uh, there's not a one day fix for everything. It's not just going to stop. Brittany just listed over uh, a bunch of things going on um, in the community, uh, things that we're already dealing with. And and if we get to, you know, allow ourselves to become discouraged, then there's no end in sight. And we have to work towards those things um, again. But today, again, just in diabetes alone, because what I essentially want to do is take this opportunity share with our network i know we got at least about uh we're about 25 short of a thousand followers on our vanguard page wow I love to my network you know and so i know it's about one o'clock people have things to do during the day and so we want to make sure that you that you view this sometime during the day and, and get some you know suggestion to help you get out and move it and with that being said i'm pe teacher i'm health teacher as well um because we got to wear different hats um different mask <laughs> and um and i want to make sure that it actually we, we're talking about it but there's some uh, actual component that goes to this so Brittany, tomorrow you guys are actually not just talking about hey can we help you out you know can we show you this that, and that? but then they're they're actually doing some physical activity to say you can't just tell this person to hey if you want to help then you need to go do, help you do some physical activity. We're going to go out here and do it with you. We're going to schedule it. And they've been doing it all throughout the summer. And they got it planned all throughout the fall. So, Brittany, what do you have going on tomorrow? And what's the schedule? Um, and if you want, you can come back and post it on our page or we can get some information um, on when are the, when, what are you guys doing tomorrow? Tell, let me shut up. <laughs> Thank you. No, it's, it's so perfect. I um, am excited to tell our community something that's fairly recent. Like you said, Mr. Saunders, over the summer, we started it here at Christopher House. Um, we have a health and wellness coordinator here at, at Christopher House whose name is Jeffrey Jones. He and I have been working together since May and are um, slowly and steadily being able to add more programming for our community members, free stuff including uh, what we're doing tomorrow and what we do every other Saturday morning at 10 a.m. We have a community walk. So this is, um, I do have a flyer. I could share my screen if you think that's appropriate, Mr. Saunders. But we, every other Saturday, we meet at the Christopher House at 10 a.m. We talk a little bit because Jeffrey and I have been able to partner with our local health clinics, including the Near West Free Clinic, including Eskenazi, um, and including uh, Shalom Healthcare Center. So we have different health professionals who come and join us on this walk. And it's an opportunity free and open to the community for people to come, ask some questions about a topic like diabetes. We talk about our blood sugar. We talk about why when you have high blood sugar, um, you know, why you might have to go to the bathroom more often or uh, why you feel tired or why you're losing weight, even though you're eating more. So we talk, we talk about these things and answer questions. And then we all go and we walk somewhere either in the community or somewhere near. So mm -hmm. we walked in the, on the canal. Um, we walked on Belmont, Belmont beach, the new park that you mentioned earlier. Um, and we walk right here in the community every other Saturday morning. So Where that's cool. Where are you walking tomorrow? We are undecided tomorrow. We kind of want to see what the majority of folks want to do because we have the shuttles. So we shuttle everyone to the location um, and people can can be masked up if they'd like. We do encourage that, um, but it's it's not a requirement if people have been vaccinated against COVID-19. Um, but we all go in two different Christopher House buses and we can go anywhere. So we were thinking maybe to do the canal again tomorrow. Um, it is a, a beautiful spot. You know, it, it's nice sometimes to get out of our, our neighborhoods that we see all the time and, and explore a different part of the city. So we may do that or we might stay right here in Hallville and um, check out some of the, the area like down on Belmont Beach again by School 63. Uh, so we're doing that tomorrow, the 24th, and then our next walk will be August 7th. And we do post 
the schedule on the Chris Morehouse Facebook page. I also post it on our Instagram page uh, for, uh, it's just something I created for our community. It's called Near West Wellness underscore Indie. Um, and that's our Instagram page that I'm sure we can share out later. But we try to communicate all of that that's going on. Um, and we also have free training here at Chris Morehouse. And it's not the intense training that you might think of. It's it's with Jeffrey. He is, um, I, I work out with him. I'm trying to get in shape myself. We work out. He does it for free for anyone here at the Chris Morehouse. Um, you can go anytime, get a consultation, talk about goals, and then uh, set up a workout schedule with him, which is usually just a 30 minute to a one hour workout routine. And then anyone who wants to can talk with me and we can we can talk about a meal plan. Because a lot of times these big lifestyle changes, Eric, as I'm sure you're familiar with, they can seem so hard and they can seem so overwhelming. But really all it takes is one little step at a time, you know, choosing uh, to drink water instead of soda can make a difference. Or choosing to, to, to plan out your meals instead of eating out um, or, or looking up a diabetes friendly grocery list. All of those things um, are really, really simple and is what I'm here to help support our community to do. That's awesome. Awesome. So I'm going to try to get out tomorrow. I know I got a, a you know, a little busy. So you guys go for about what, an hour or two hours. Or? Yeah, we usually go for about an hour walk. So we, we talk for a little bit. We do provide water and Powerade. And then we uh, will go on a walk for about an hour, sometimes an hour and a half. It just depends on what the group wants to do. You know, We like mm -hmm. everything we do to be community based. So if the majority of people feel like walking. For example, if we go to the canal, it's a pretty long area to walk. So if everyone in the group feels like walking the whole canal, we do that. Um, if if some people have different needs, like they don't want to be there for longer than an hour, we make that happen as well. So it's um, averaging about an hour, an hour and a half, I'd say walk. And then we come back and have refreshments. So we provide some fruit. Um, we also usually have like granola bars and then we have water and power rate sure everything's hydrated because that's also a very important part of health absolutely so you guys heard it um we're gonna be meet over at they're gonna say the park again the park we're gonna meet at crystal house at 10 a.m 502 Fremont street 10 a.m we're not saying 5 a.m 10 a.m so you got enough chance to wake up in the morning chill maybe even watch a good movie or, and then come on over Take an hour of your day and then go exercise. You know, that's important. Um, and then I just I wanted to, again, just kind of come back to what Dip In is doing. Um, again, just going on Google, I was looking up eight surprising facts about kids and diabetes. Um, diabetes is becoming more common in kids. Uh, both types of diabetes affect kids. Uh, symptoms are subtle. Screening may give kids an advantage. Uh, kids with diabetes need frequent health care visits and physical activity is very important. So uh, just just a couple of things. The first one that is grabbing my attention is diabetes is becoming more common in kids. And with that being said, you know, I think we, we come from the generation that likes to give our kids the things that we did not have growing up. You know, I had to get into a whole argument with my kids. was like, man, I, I eat good cereal. All right. You know, I'm I'm a wit kid, all right. I'm a, I'm a food stamp kid, so I, I I I'm not even gonna look at the food pebbles box, you know. So, but I know I gotta eat kicks or cornflakes uh, or kaboom. <laughs> and, um, yeah. that's, that's that's you know that's what I did, and, uh, and and pancakes was a luxury, you know. McDonald's was a luxury, but now because we have such accessibility to the, those fast foods, and you know, some have made adjustments. Um, but now it's so easily accessible um, yeah. and it's so convenient and that's that's kind of I think uh, even the trick of marketing um, that this making making it uh, a convenience so like oh let me just grab the candy sitting right there oh, ooh a new flavor um, I think I just saw like a birthday cake Mountain Dew and, <laughs> and I was like yeah. oh birthday cake Mountain Dew, but let me see what it tastes like. 
<laughs> that curiosity <laughs> that gets us. We're like, oh, it must be some good. Right, right. But I think now a couple of us are getting older and dealing with, you know, blood pressure is real. Diabetes is real. I mean, people think that was never happened to them. Um, what, what do you, why do you think, why do you think there's so much uh, pushback? What do you think some of the barriers are? That's a great question, Mr. Saunders. Um, it's very complex. I think, like you said, these there is a, an increase in accessibility to some of the most unhealthy things. Um, and, and there's also a decrease in accessibility to things that would be more healthy. Um, like even going to our neighborhood Kroger and looking at the fresh produce section is very small. It's very limited. And on top of that, prices are all the time you know we have we deal with inflation on a large scale as a nation um and i, I think too there's a mentality um oftentimes yeah. we, we think that oh this is just the way things are um mm -hmm. I, you know my, my own grandmother um had diabetes um, may she rest in peace uh you know and, and we just think okay well it's in the family so this is just the way things are and i'm just gonna live my life i'm gonna enjoy every second um but what what i want to empower our community to start thinking about if they haven't already is number one change can happen over time but it takes dedication it takes a real desire to say i care about my health i care to be around for my children I care about my children's health and I want them to have the best quality of life as possible. Because even those eight facts you read, when we have health issues like diabetes or, or anything else, we're going to the doctor more. That's that's an expense. That's a, that's a high cost. That's a lot of money out of my pocket. Um, and a lot of times some of these foods that we think are cheaper actually end up being more expensive as well. So there's even a, a cost to us as a community by eating things that are more processed. Um, there's definitely a barrier in information and as well. And then I think there's a barrier in activities that we have here. And so I also just wanna encourage everyone who sees this video, let's get creative. Let's figure out, you don't have to have a gym membership to, be, to have movement in your life. Uh, most doctors recommend, uh, I, I believe it's three times a week, 30 minutes. So basically that's 90 minutes in a seven day week in your life. And the really cool thing is it doesn't have to be 30 minutes all at once. I myself am a very busy person. Sometimes I can't find that 30 minute period, but what I can do is break up that 30 minutes into smaller bits, like 10 minutes here, 10 minutes there. So all we're looking at is 90 minutes and that's shorter than most movies we watch. Um, that's shorter than, you know, watching two of my favorite shows on Netflix. So, by getting creative and just looking at how we can have fun, go into the parks with our kids. Right here in the near west, we do have some beautiful parks. We have a splash park right here at Hobbit Hob Park. Um, there are several different other areas where we can walk or ride a bike uh, or even ride at home, you know, walking in place. Come into the Christmore house to work out with us. We can make it happen. It just takes uh, removing, kind of removing those those filters from our eyes and removing those blinders from our eyes and saying, I can, and here's how, like making that plan, seeking out the support system, um, using, using community resources like me, like a neighborhood community health worker to help someone make a plan. You know, all of these things are solutions to the barriers that we might face. If someone is facing some food insecurity or isn't sure of how how they might be able to get the right groceries, that's something that we can help with as well. Uh, right here at Christopher House, we have a food pantry, we have a diaper pantry, we have um, all kinds of things. And then I know of other resources that are available here in the community as well. I know you all in Vanguard work really hard to support your families too. So. It comes back to anything. It really takes that dedication to say where there is a will, there's a way. Let's get creative. We are not a people who is easily defeated. I will say that about our black and brown community. We are not 
defeated and we're going to rise by the grace of God. So let's, you know, let's find a way. We're here. We're here for, for anybody watching this and anyone who wants to talk about it later. We're definitely here to find those solutions to the barriers that exist. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I appreciate it. And again, ladies and gentlemen, that is Brittany Crone, um, who is representing Dip In. You said tomorrow they will be over at Crystal Moore House right in front at 10 o'clock. So again, a lot of great information today. Uh, essentially, that's what we wanted to do. Um, create opportunities where we need to focus on these things uh, because again, school year is starting and we want to start um, having a little bit more focus on how we're helping our scholars improve, how we're improving the next generation. So Brittany, I thank you for st uh, dipping in and stopping by and uh thank you thank you so much for having me it's an anything, honor anything you want to share with us any way we can follow or is there anything else you want to share yeah i'd love to see and um, if anyone wants to send me a message on the instagram page near west wellness indy and uh, i also have my contact information that we can share out um, my phone number for anyone who needs it is 317-281-3641. People can call me, um, send me a text message at that number, ask questions. If I don't know the answer, I'm going to work until I get an answer for you. If you need, even if you want some information about where, when to set up a meeting or where or anything like that, we can make that happen. And I know we're fighting a lot of barriers. We're fighting systemic oppression we're f fighting things that were designed to keep us down as a people and and like i said before we we will continue to rise if we choose to make that decision um and and i'm here for it i'm honored to be here mr saunders thank you for having me thank you so much all right let me figure out okay back on me here we go so thank you ladies and gentlemen that was our first episode of heal and build um, here with Vanguard Collegiate, and we're going to be here the next couple of Fridays. Next Friday, I'll probably be tuning in from the actual an event, um, the she event. All right, it's going to be downtown at the the Plaza, the Luger Plaza, and this is one of the largest events taking place um, by Katina Washington, who, if I think, for the last three three, four years has been rocking the she event and has really filled a void here in the community um, to just kind of get merchants in front of one another and vendors in front of one another. Um, so that's a really great opportunity. So um, I don't know what we're going to discuss next week, but there's so much to discuss and we talked about it um, a lot today. Um, and so, but I definitely want to get into conversations that um, are impacting our community, that are subsequently uh, impacting our youth. And we can't expect to um, hit everything on the front end with education, 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 without dealing with the barriers to this child to education. So it's almost like we got to till the garden, okay? And so again, I hope you guys took this conversation very seriously. We know diabetes is an issue and that's the whole point of it, man. What are we starting to do? It's not gonna be a one day fix, but we can start with this next generation and seeing how these numbers begin to go down and these behaviors and these habits and uh, these uh, generational, um, the generational influence, how is that impacting us as, as human beings? We, you know, we know better. Now it's just time to do better. Now it's just time to heal and build. So thank you again. I am signing off. Go ahead, like, and share. You can visit us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. Uh, you can visit us at www.vcindy.org. And like I said, we are currently enrolling. If you'd like to learn more information about how to take a tour um, to enroll, you can call us today at 317-354-7727. So definitely appreciate your time. Uh, for just tuning in didn't want to take up much of your time but just want to be used to voice um my other name is green eye bandit <laughs> and i love doing this and it's been very helpful um for me um on the mental aspect 
And so it's okay to admit, guys, um, that there's some things that we're working on and improving on. But um, let's again, we got to think about legacy. We got to think about what we're building here. So I appreciate y'all and um, back to work for you. Share, like, love, sin, share, all that good stuff. I'm out. Peace. See you next Friday. Oh, nope. Let me rewind. I see you tomorrow. If we're going to do it, I'm going to try to make it at the 10 o'clock at Crystal Moore House Hour Walk. Um, shout out to Be Nimble uh, and all the organizi organizers for the garden party um, and Black Excellence and things that they're doing. We're going to be on Sunday at uh, 3400 Lafayette Road, uh, a commercial drive uh, for the Taco Fest. I know talking about diabetes, <laughs> but tacos are pretty cool. And, you know, but we're, we really just we still need to have some fun. We're going to be at the Taco Fest all day. Uh, Ted Hardy has an event, a backpack giveaway in the community. Uh, we're also going to be at the Catch the Stars event um, at Targeting Park um, off of 38th in Illinois. So if you can make it out or tell somebody to hey, we're gonna be over there, if you want to connect with Vanguard, uh, we'll be there. Um, we really love to see the members of the community doing great things and like to couple with them um, so we can get, uh, reach more people and uh, make more impact. So those are my updates um, just on what's going on in Road Day, grades five through eight. Be a Vanguard. Peace, everybody. And I'm back because I forgot to end the actual broadcast. Left my own broadcast. Pulled a Teddy Riley on myself again. But it happens. All right. Peace.